up, everybody. Coach, here we are. We have come to the end of the line. State championships, day one. Coach. As we come to the end <laughs> of the road, still I can't let go. What's up, Coach? Not much, man. We back in the his house. Yes, sir. Well, you know, your boy went undefeated last week. <laughs> you know, made up some games, man. You know? Yeah, you did. You made up some games. Enough to make it interesting. Yeah. You so got we enough. gonna see. You, you got enough rope left there, dog? To be I, I, I don't know. know. We gonna see. But here we are, coach. Now, with the state championships, it's broke up into two days. We're gonna have Friday, the first day, which is the game we'll cover today. We're gonna have three games. First up, we got 1A. 12 and 1 Russellville versus 13 and 2 Pikeville. To preview this game, we got a chance to catch up with Coach Mikey Benton. Former UK player, now coaching Russellville. And we got a chance to catch up with the Hell Podcast crew, our man Heath Robinson, to fill us in on Pikeville. Heath Rob. Here's Shut that. Up. All right, we here with Russellville head coach, Coach Mikey Benton. Coach, man, first off, congratulations on making it to the state finals, Coach. All right, Coach, you have one loss this season. And here you are taking on perennial 1A power Pikeville, Coach. <laughs> How did this happen, Coach? I mean, you know, like you say, you came in. I think coming into the season, nobody was, you know, Russellville, you guys weren't, you know, penciled in for this spot. No, and here you right. are, Coach. Uh, I mean, just a lot of hard work. I mean, uh, like you said, when preseason polls come out, like you said, top 10, Russellville wasn't in any of them. You know, which is fine. And so I tell these guys, you know, hey, this is why you go out and you play these games. You can't pay it any attention. You know, if anything, we just use it as motivation. And, uh, you know, going throughout the entire year, we would see the AP polls and, you know, different things and have teams ranked ahead of us, you know, who we felt, you know, we were better than. And, you know, I just told the guys to keep working and, you know, time will tell. Uh, so, you know, lo and behold, it leads us to this spot. And, uh, you know, of course, Playing a tough opponent in Pikeville. You know, we've been hearing about them all year. I don't, I'm pretty sure the entire state's been hearing about Pikeville the entire year, no doubt. So, you know, we know we're going to come in and definitely going to have a battle. And, uh, but you know, my guys, we're going to have a good week of practice this week. And, you know, we'll show up Friday and we'll definitely be ready for the challenge. All right, coach. Now, what's the one thing it's going to take for your team to do to get this championship game? Uh, well, of course, we just have to come in and worry about us. You know, no silly penalties or anything from that standpoint. Uh, have to be able to stop the run. You know, no doubt about that. You know, everyone knows the Pikeville loves to run the ball. And, you know, I'm the type of person with a defensive mind that I always want to come in and stop the run and force teams to pass. You know, uh, usually when teams have had to pass on us this year, it hasn't worked out too well for them. Uh, I think we're at the point of we forced, I think, 38, 39 turnovers this year as a defense. Uh, so, you know, guys are aggressive. I got a bunch of ball hawks there and, uh, you know, just guys who are determined and hungry. So, you know, main thing, take care of us, take care of the football and stop the run. We wish you the best of luck Friday here in Lexington. And as always, Coach, keep doing big things. I appreciate it. All right, we here with, again, we catching up with the Hell Podcast crew from Pikeville. Heath, we got you by yourself, man. Hopefully you don't get everybody in trouble. But uh, we wanted to, you know, catch up with the Pikeville, get somebody from Pikeville representing, since y'all will be kicking this whole thing off Friday as you go for your sixth, seventh Something state like championship. That, yeah. <laughs> Well, you let me talk long enough, Coach. I'll get myself. I'll get everybody in trouble. You just have to <laughs> about that. Well, man, you know, really, we just kind of wanted to know Pike Bills here in the state championship. I know last year it was kind of penciled in, but things didn't go as planned. So, what made this team different from last year's team? To me, well, last year you had a a very small senior class. The the 
the uh, uh, majority of the team was made up of juniors and sophomores. Okay, so you had a lot of a lot of youth and a lot of inexperience uh, as far as dealing with big time games and things like that. So, you know, we kind of came into Hazard. You know, we beat Sayre in the first round last year. That's kind of when you and I got acquainted. And then in the second round, uh, in the second round, then, uh, you know, we, we showed up to Hazard and we kind of uh, thought it was just a foregone conclusion that they were going to kind of lay down for us. Mm -hmm. And Hazard didn't lay down. You know, that, that was a valuable lesson learned by this group. And you've seen from the off-season training from, like, from this past off-season, all the way through the season, these boys are stay focused. They worked hard, and they wanted to make sure that that didn't happen again. And you know, now they're going to Lexington again because. What's it going to take for Pikeville to get this win over Russellville? Um, disciplinary on discipline on defense, uh, just kind of doing what we've been doing all year long. I mean, it, it's Russellville is a good football team. Okay, they've got. Really good athletes. Their team speed reminds you of LCA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to come out and play assignment football. All of our boys are going to have to do their jobs. Every other football play show you can think of, okay. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to have to go out and execute. We're going to have to go out and block. And we're going to have to be the aggressor and act like we've been here before because we have. So, I, I think if we can do that, we'll be all right. But, but I am in no way discount Russellville because they can definitely come down there and beat us if we're not on our game. All right, man. Well, that's all. We just kind of wanted to get a little feel for Pikeville as we head into the game. I just want to say thank you to the Hell Podcast crew. Make sure y'all check them out here. And uh, and as always, hey, Pikeville, I'm riding with y'all. We winning, we riding. Appreciate you, Heath, man. And uh, I hope to catch man, up with you Friday. All I got, all I got to say, Coach, Pikeville, Belfry, and Johnson Central are all coming to Lexington. Big Fangs is about ready to become Kroger Holler down there. <laughs> <laughs> coach, man, Pikeville, Coach. I'm just letting you know I'm rolling and I'm coming out good, Coach. Hey, man. You Pikeville know on top. Yeah, I, I like the Pikeville boys, boys with that hell podcast, man. Them seem like my type of guys, man. So, hey, I'm like, like you said, man, you know, with Johnson Central, Pikeville and Belfry coming to Lexington, he say it's going to be Kroger Holler this week. <laughs> I know that's right. Get your shotguns and your moonshine ready. <laughs> we going to have us a whole day. Hey, man, that is one thing, though, that is very impressive about them Eastern Kentucky cities and the schools. When they come, the, they whole, the whole town comes. Like yep. he said, they hang a banner that says, last one left, turn out the lights. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> so Pikeville, who are you picking, Coach? Pikeville. I'm rolling right. with Pikeville. Pikeville. You ain't going to give me no room. Nope. All right. Now, the two-way and probably the, the marquee matchup, prime time, baby, 14-0 LCA <laughs> taking on 14-0 Beachwood. These two teams clashed last year, went to overtime. LCA missed a kick and – Petition that the reason they missed the kick was because it was on college goal post versus the high school goal post. Oh, if it was under that. the high school goal post, they would have made, made the kick. Oh. So to catch up with that, we got a chance to catch up with young yeah. offensive coordinator for LCA, Coach Oakley Watkins, and for Beachwood, legendary head coach, Coach Noel Rash, who's going for his seventh state championship at Beachwood. Ooh, coach, so check them out. We here with LCA assistant head coach and offense coordinator, Coach Oakley Watkins. Coach Watkins, how are you doing, Coach? I'm doing great, Coach Truck. Just just enjoying enjoying the week and just enjoying the opportunity that we have ahead of us to play for another state championship. That's something that we definitely don't take for granted. An opportunity to be back again this year is, is just a, a special deal for us. So doing doing great. You guys have been on a mission since last season's close loss in the state championship game. Tell us about this team, Coach. This group, everybody says, well, that group's special. Oh, well, this group's special every year. And when you see the senior class that leaves, it's something that is always tough. 
But I'll say with this group, and I, I get emotional thinking about this being our last week with this group because it is a special, special, special group. They are a selfless group of kids that they just want the best for, for their teammates, and they do everything to sacrifice for the greater good. We've got playmakers across the board from freshmen to seniors, and for these guys to just be willing to sacrifice for the greater good because not, not everybody on our team gets – 15 to 20 touches because of the athletes that we have on our team. So I think that's one thing that is important about this group is that they're selfless. They just love playing this game. They just love playing with one another. And they're just determined. They're hardworking kids that they they just – it's it's just a really, really special group that has really followed that mantra of leave no doubt this this year. And, and I've been super proud of them, and I'm, I'm blessed to be able to call uh, – to be able to say I'm, I'm their coach, to be quite honest with you. All right, Coach, you got Beachwood this week. You know, a return game from you guys playing them last year. How do you prepare for this team? Yeah, I mean, Beachwood, they're – I mean, they're here for a reason. They're really good at what they do. Um, they're averaging – they're giving up less than six points a game right now as a defense. So, so their defense, they're really sound on defense. They're physical. So, for us, we've just got to match them. It's, it's going to be a physical football game. We know that. And, We've just got to be who we are, which is get our playmakers the ball out in space and not turn the ball over. And we got to stay ahead of the chains. And that's something that we've talked about. It doesn't matter who the opponent is for us. We, we've got to make sure that we're disciplined, which means cut down on penalties, limit those, and limit turnovers, get our playmakers the ball out in space. And that's really what it's going to be. We just got to be the best version of ourselves. But we know Beachwood is – a great opponent. I mean, they are fantastic on defense. They've got some really, really good players on on that side of the ball, and, and we're we're excited about the opportunity and the challenge on Friday. We want to thank you for coming on and shining a spotlight on another great young coach that's doing big things here in Central Kentucky. We wish you guys the best of luck at Kroger Field. Bring one home for the city, Coach, and thank you. Coach Shrug, we thank you for everything you guys do for, for high school sports. Seriously, it's you all are one of a kind. And, you know, we, we love our man, Big View, too. We're always keeping him in our thoughts and prayers. So thank you guys for, for everything you do, and thank you for having me on today. Coach, I mean, you're right up there with some of the top as far as state championships, Coach. What do you attribute to your success? Well, it starts with our community and our school. It really does. And I know that sounds a little bit like coach speak, but it, it truly is. Our, our kids, I've got great players and great families. And when our kids come to practice, we get to focus on football. I'm not doing a lot of other things um, as far as teaching our kids how to do a lot of other things. They already have those things in place, those social graces, those things that they need to do to be good young men. So uh, I think that benefits us. Uh, to, to not have to do a lot. Of, and I don't have to do a lot of team building because these guys have known each other. You're going to remember we're a K through 12 school. Um, so these kids have known each other for a long time. Uh, uh, you know, so that, that all leads to, to uh, my job being a, a lot easier than it is on other coaches. All right, coach. Now just this year, uh, you got the rematch with LCA which was probably one of the better games of all of last year's state games. Tell us about this year's team, Coach. Well, and like I said before, you know, every year is a new experience, and and I, I we're a we're we're a little ding. We got we lost a couple of key players. I'm, I'm, two of my four captains are are out for the season, and so that's changed the dynamic a little bit because of our depth. We haven't had to make a whole lot of changes to what we're doing. We had to make a few changes offensively um, with shifting some people around. But, um, you know, this season has been obviously rewarding. We, we've, we've not lost yet, and and uh, and that's a tribute to the kids. Um, I, for me, uh, we're, we're where we are because of what we do in the offseason and, and what we do in the summer to get ourselves ready, uh, the weight room, the type of training that we do. Um, those are the reasons why we're in the situation we're in. Uh, LCA, great, great, great football team with all kinds of weapons and extremely well-coached team. Um, their staff uh, leaves no stone unturned. What are your team going to have to do to get this win this season, Coach? 
Well, we're going to have to play one of our best games, if not our best game. And and the nice thing about that is I thought we played close to that uh, uh, last week. And so I, I think we've been getting better each week. Um, and that's that's certainly a tribute to the kids and, our, and, our, and my coaching staff. They've done a great job of, of ramping up what we need to do and refining what we need to do. But we're going to have to play a great game. And I, I can tell you, this time of year, you don't reinvent the wheel. You don't start re, you know, we're going to have a few wrinkles here and there, but you got to be who you are and you got to do what you do better than you've been doing it, especially against a team like LCA. They are a great football team. Uh, but I think we are too. And, and uh, you know, like I've said to our kids, I'll take our kids every day of the week and twice on Friday. So, but it, it, simple block, tackle, and don't turn the thing over. Yeah, we got to stop the run. They've got to stop the run. But I, I think it comes down to three things block, tackle, and, and don't turn it over. And you got to run well because they can run well. But we do. I, you know, our team speed is really good. Um, but we'll, we got to get in the game and find out. But block, tackle, and don't turn it over, coach. And I want to thank you, coach, and appreciate you for coming on. Well, I appreciate you doing this. I mean it because, you, you know, the, the high school venue, it, it, if, if you're talking about kids and how they're getting better and how they're becoming better athletes, I'm all in, you know, and that's what that's you're it. doing. And so I appreciate what you're doing for the high school football community and sports in general, but certainly for high school athletes, it's, uh, it matters. And so thank you. Coach, I'm riding with LCA, baby. Let's go. I feel like, like they say, leave no doubt. I love what Beachwood has done, and they have a Cameron Harrogate coming back for a fifth year who's the reigning Mr. Football, so we could have a repeat Mr. Football. Mm. So, hey, yeah, give me LCA, though, Cody. Man, this is, uh, like you said, a marquee matchup. You got, uh, you know, these two teams pretty much been on a collision course since the season first started. Beachwood took care of that business, and we know LCA took care of that business. Now it's a heavyweight fight right here, buddy. Yes, sir. This is uh, this is old Tyson Holyfield part one. I well part three. For yeah, you, baby. for real. God, I hope nobody bites nobody's ear off in this. <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, man, this is gonna be a, a barn burner. I've been rolling with Coach Doug. I want all the smoke, Charles, all year. I think I picked against him once, and he proved me wrong. I'm not going to pick against him no more. LCA breaks it home. Title town comes to Lexington. LCA for the dub. All right, Coach. <clears throat> Still won't give it over. All right, now for the primetime game, the 8 p.m. game, we got another team we're familiar with in 4A. We got 13-1 Boyle County looking to repeat, taking on 12-2 Johnson Central. Now, for this game, we got a chance to catch up with Coach Justin Haddix. Like I told him, we might as well just pencil him in for this every year, it seems like it. <laughs> for Johnson Central, we got a chance to catch up with interim head coach Steve Tremble. Two in a row, man. Yeah, I said, uh, been blessed to, to come to a great place and, and uh, you know, very proud of our kids. Um, they work hard. We do a lot in the off season. We do a lot of things. And. And very proud of them to get back where they are. We challenged them this year with obviously a very tough schedule. And uh, they responded every time. And, uh, you know, looking forward to seeing them get a play on a big stage. This week, you got Johnson Central. And if there's anything else, you know, you're going to have to block a tackle playing these guys. And they have the emotional lift that they're on this season. How is it? What's it going to take for the Rebels to get this win this weekend? You know, I, I played when I was at Perry County Central. We scheduled them, uh, at, played played Coach Matney and Johnson Central, and and you know it was always good to get to play them. And they are that that's that was kind of the method to the madness back then. Hey, let's play a, a really physical team in a regular season, non district, and that'll prepare us for our district. What we got to play. So uh, we played against them. Obviously, everybody's changed since then. I'm running a lot of different stuff probably than what I did then. Uh, totally different team on both sides, but. Uh, they're, they're always – they're fundamentally sound. They play hard. They're going to come and hit you. Uh, they block well. They block to the whistle. It is a physical mountain football team. And, and you know, that is exactly what they bring. Uh, obviously, they do have a lot of uh, motivation. But I think anybody's got a motivation for, for playing in the state finals and what you want to do. And you want to make your community proud and your state proud. But, uh, you know, knowing Coach Matney and what all he brought to them – uh, you know, what a great guy and, you know, football coach. I mean, you can't take anything away. He really built that program uh, over there where they're a state power and they played in the finals. I don't know how many times 
you know, here and, and just been a, a great, 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 great team in the state of Kentucky, not just in the mountains. Well, Coach, man, again, we thank you for coming on, and, and we appreciate you. We've seen you guys play quite a few times this season, and good luck Friday, Coach, man. As always, keep doing big things. All right, sounds good. Go Rebels. All right, thanks, Coach. Coach, you know, everybody is familiar with the Johnson Central story, but just kind of can you tell us exactly how you fit into the program? I'll be glad to. Uh, uh, Coach Coach Matney uh, had, had been at John Central for since about 2004, 2005 season, and and uh, um, and of course we know how successful he was. Very successful coach, and and not only football but also wrestling, and and uh, and I, I was principal at John Central High School, and I was fortunate enough to hire him back in that, at that time, and and uh, and since then that was one of the requirements that he made that if I would be on the headphones with him. Uh, if he came over to coach and I agreed to do so. So I've uh, been on the headphones with Coach Matty for the last 17 years up until uh, after the first uh, part of this season when coach passed and, and uh, the administration asked me to uh, take over and uh, finish, the, finish the year. Well, Coach, man, uh, tragic situation as far as everything is going on. We want to just congratulate you as far as the success that this team has had. How hard or was it hard to keep the team focused and on track after the tragedy of the season? Well, uh, during the tragedy, it was probably the hardest time for the kids. And, and uh, he was sick during two of the football games. And then he passed away right before the, the, the next game. And, and uh, uh, the kids just really struggled. Uh, not only was he their, their head coach, he was like the father figure to most of them. And, and uh, kids really loved him. And, and uh but the, the, it's kind of like uh, when they went out on the field, they could let, forget all that stuff and focus just for a little while on, on football. And, and uh, it's kind of a relief for them when they went out to play. And and, uh, and I think they played, you know, were able to play and, and focus on the game. <clears throat> and uh, I, you couldn't be more proud of these kids. They've overcome so much. And, and uh, especially with the new coach coming down, working with them. Uh, but I, I was so blessed with the assistant coaches that we had and uh, they, the training that they'd gotten over the years from coach. And, and uh, we just kept things going just exactly the way they were going. Uh, the coaches were outstanding. And, and uh, I relied on them a lot to just continue what we were doing. And, and, uh, uh, and uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to win most of the games. I think we've uh, lost one game on the field this year, and that was to a really, really good Maryland uh, football team. I think they finished sixth in the state of Maryland this year, and, and uh, they beat us by one score and then a real good football game. So uh, it's amazing what these kids have done, considering the circumstances that they've gone through this football season. Here you are again with another chance to get another state championship for Johnson Central. Coach, what's it going to take for the Eagles to get this championship this year? Hey, it's going to be a tough uh, task. Uh, Boyle County, outstanding football team, very, very well coached, and uh, they're very athletic. And uh, got a high-powered offense and a stingy defense, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a task. Uh, you know, our, our kids uh, they're more into the wide open, uh, uh, spread the field, uh, run draws and, and screens, and, and throw it all over the place. And uh, we're just into the full house backfield, smash mouth football. It's a totally two different type of offenses, and I think whichever offense can be the most successful in this game can be able to pull out a victory. Hey man, this is uh you know say the championship for no reason, coach. You yeah. gotta have some games lined up here, buddy. Yeah. This uh should be some good ones, man. Good slate of games. Johnson Central. I mean, uh, it is what it is. It man. is ground it is. and pound, baby. They, they ain't hiding nothing. They not. They not. They line up, come to your front door, and tell you exactly what yeah. we're gonna come to do. Yeah. Uh, Ball County, Whew. man. 13 and 1. 13 and 1. Beat man. Douglas. Beat Douglas impressively. Repeat beat Douglas. Spain looking for a repeat championship. Title. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Shout out to the people in Danville. Give me Ball County. Coach, here we go. I'm taking Johnson Central. <laughs> I love Coach Haddis and what Ball County doing, but I feel like Johnson Central is kind of like that team of destiny. But when you got a team that's emotionally charged like that, man, it's going to be tough to beat them. 
I really don't want to make this pick, but I got to pick up some ground somewhere. So give me Johnson Central, baby. Hey, man, it's uh, like you said, uh, that emotion and uncle momentum goes a long way. Uh, will it be enough to carry him out with that trophy out of Kroger Field? We'll, we'll find out, man. But I'm with you. Well, I'm not with you on this one, but uh, this one could have went either way. Now, those were great interviews that we had for those games. We will also post the entire interview because we just put a little snippet in there. So tune in for the entire interview if you want to hear more from these exclusive coaches that we had for these week's shows. Coach, man, you're only going to give me one game, the chance to make up one. I'm either going to make up one game or fall down one game Friday, but it is what it is. Hey, man, it ain't, it ain't title weekend for nothing, man, so... Fasten your seatbelts. This is the, part, the moment we've all been hyped up for, ready for, man. It's championship weekend. Yes, sir. So this concludes our episode for Friday's games. Tune in for our episode on Saturday's games, posted on Big Things Kentucky at YouTube. Hey, tip of the cloud cap, big view shirt tub, till the general returns. Peace. Peace.